Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brooke. I am a homeschool mom of seven. Today's video, I have my husband Elias here with me. We wanted to kind of talk about our homeschool experience as well as just introduce ourselves on this channel because we haven't done that yet. I have been a stay-at-home mom for most of my children's lives. My oldest is 16, all the way down to my youngest who is a year old. For the last two years, going into our third year, I have also now been a homeschool mom as well. Back in 2013 is when we joined the military. Elias became a pilot in the Air Force. What did you do before that? Uh, I was a teacher for three years, a band director at uh, a school teaching fifth grade band for three years before that and I had just graduated college. So we decided to go ahead and do the route for military for a number of reasons. As of now, we have been living the military life for nine years, yeah. We didn't homeschool the whole nine years. We've only been homeschooling the last two years going into three. And we just wanted to share some of the reasons why we started homeschooling in the first place. The beginning of 2020, when COVID started to hit and teachers were sending everyone home to do school at home, is kind of how it started. Prior to that, had always been something Elias and I had talked about. We kind of wanted to do homeschooling, but we just never took that leap. I think it had to do with a lot of insecurities, not knowing how it would work, or for me, um, how I would even handle doing it. But once the pandemic did hit and the kids were at home, I got a sense of how it would be and just decided that once we moved from Washington to Oklahoma to our next duty station, that I would go ahead and continue to do homeschool. Because of us being in the military, it made more sense for us to do homeschool because of us moving and his hours um, the flexibility. The fl yeah, the flexibility, him being able to take leave off if we need to take that leave and either go on vacation or just spend time together. It made more sense. As some of you know, some of my children have CMT, um, also known as Charcot-Marie Tooth Disease. And because of that disease, we see special doctors and have different appointments at different locations as far as medical appointments and things like that. So it was really important for us to be able to take those times off and go and travel wherever we needed to go and not have to worry about them missing school and we were and be able to just do what we need to do at home as far as school goes and not have to worry about missing days during public school. Well, like when we took Ezra on his surgery trip to California and that was uh, two weeks out there by himself and the other kids didn't miss school because of that, but he was able to come and bounce back and get some more uh, school because if he would have been in public school, then he would have been really far behind it or we would have had to schedule it during the summer or something right. like that. Yeah, that was really important for us. Another thing that was important to us was to be able to choose the curriculum that we wanted our kids to learn about. So I know that we have a curriculum that we definitely like and some that we definitely don't like. And being a former teacher uh, really was important to me that we were able to get those one-on-one -on -one sessions with the kids and not just have them looked over or pushed through a certain grade like was happening with our oldest son, Ezra, mm -hmm. who was just not getting math. And for them to just barely pass him to go to the next grade and he doesn't know what's going on. So I think that was another big reason why we- Right, the, the self-paced learning. One of the biggest pros I think that I have benefited from the last two years with homeschooling is how close our family unit, like especially with the kids, have been since doing school together. They have really had a lot of time to work together and to learn from each other and to even help each other through many different experiences throughout this whole homeschool journey. My four-year-old has really benefited too as well, being able to sit in on a lot of our lessons and just kind of watch how they do things and kind of mimic them and he's learned a lot from them as well. I also think that we've had a lot of opportunities through resources to get the kids into activities. Like we've had homeschool band, they've been in band. We just did uh, baseball in the summer. So they're getting that social aspect, maybe not as big as they would have gotten through public school, but they're also getting the benefit of being with their family and growing those bonds together as well. 
I think it's so much easier to do homeschool nowadays online and there's so many different programs that you can do. Um, they're not really, in some ways, they're learning a lot more academically, but uh, I definitely do think that socially, the family-wise, it's a lot stronger, I feel like, but uh, maybe a con is also that they don't get the interaction with as many social groups as they can. They don't, not, not physically, but one of the benefits that because of that, with COVID hitting and the pandemic, I mean, a lot of these children, even in public school, have been stuck inside anyway. So a lot of their social interaction has been coming from online sources as far as like, you know, discord or meeting friends and playing games. And that's how a lot of these relationships have been forming over the past two years anyways. So a lot of it hasn't been super social on the outside. So we've kind of had the benefit of getting to experience, I guess, that aspect of change that we've had over the last two years. All well, the generational change of, yeah, meeting right. people online and having conversations mm -hmm. and relationships online right. versus in person. Yeah. No, I just think that homeschooling uh, seems to be a lot easier than it was in years past. Well, obviously, we wouldn't know because we didn't homeschool before, but right. it seems to be less taboo and, and more, just more accessible with the resources that we've seen. You can get anything mm -hmm. from uh, textbooks all the way up to full online uh, classes or apps or whatever and I don't think the quality if anything the quality has gone up since when I was a teacher trying to use any kind of app would uh, was very difficult for for students and and uh, especially lower income parents but it seems like nowadays as long as you have a phone you can at least get some curriculum in there and a lot of times it's high quality so I think as far as the teacher side of it and the curriculum side of it it makes a lot of sense to do homeschool um, right yeah yeah a lot of people we've seen a lot more people get into homeschooling yeah. for sure at least the, the last year the freedom of of being able to go with your family when it's maybe less busy, not during spring break, but the week after mm -hmm. or something like that. Right. Uh, adds a lot to it if your schedule and job can accommodate that. That's a, a big benefit as well. This is just some of the reasons why we chose to get into homeschooling and a little bit about ourselves. If you guys want to follow our family in any of the videos I put out as far as homeschool, CMT awareness, life with seven kids, organizational, anything like that, um, feel free to subscribe to our family. We would really appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me.